Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Martin, it's Lego Fan UK. You may be wondering to yourself, why is he wearing latex gloves? Well, the reason is coming up very shortly. This is Hints and Tips Volume 2, and this one is Insurance. This one's quite close to my heart. My day to day work, I work in fire damaged properties, so what I come across sometimes can be very upsetting, especially for the worst of the jobs but also if you've got a large lego collection please 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 make sure you insure it guys because i'm going to show you something that's probably going to make a few of us adults cry i couldn't face throwing it into the skip so i discussed with the guy i said look i want to keep this i want to just show people what happens if you don't have insurance and what the cost is going to be to yourself so if it's your first time here, click that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, keep up to date with my latest video. So I'm going to pull this out now. And like I say, it's, it's quite shocking. Now this is a set I never bought myself. So unfortunately, this one, as you can see, is the Bugatti. Massive build, but I'm going to zoom in on this guy, show you the damage of this. So this guy had a fire and didn't have insurance so we managed to salvage quite a bit with him this is a set we couldn't salvage you'll be able to see close up how much like damage there is where it's all melted uh, the the damage to the every well basically from the smoke damage guys so i'm going to show you how bad this gets i'm gonna have to clean the table after because otherwise my wife will kill me but just to show you obviously there is in these bags there is other bits that are discolored from the uh, from the soot and the heat in the fire and obviously it's pretty bad so I've I kept it because I really want to show you guys what can happen if you don't have insurance show you the damage and why it's important just get insurance you get some content insurance you could be looking at 10 pound a month depending on how much cover you need but please do it guys so let's have a quick look at this closely I'm gonna strip it down a little bit show you how far the smoke gets it doesn't just sit on the surface it gets inside all of this and what it does to these bricks. See you in two seconds. So guys, I've stripped this down a little bit. Um, I did do it while videoing, but I actually forgot to press record. Don't! So, I have taken some bits off. I'm gonna show you what's happened to these pieces, guys. This is why you need your insurance, because some of this you ain't gonna be able to fix. This is one of the fenders off the back. You can see it's complete on completely melted so useless part of the roof paneling see it's all melted useless this was the engine cover so you can pull some bits so you might be able to salvage a few bits from underneath so some of them underneath might be okay but obviously there's smoke absolutely everywhere the tan piece of the seats you see we remove stuff but it gets all inside all these little gubbins so you know, a set this size, if you can imagine trying to clean something like this without the heat damage is going to take you a long time. You could probably chuck it in the washing machine or in a dishwasher and hope it cleans all right. But with, with smoke, it's, it's a lot of damage. There's a lot of acid in, in the soot from smoke, so it tends to etch. So you see that white piece there, that's the underside of the steering wheel. That's the top side. You might be able to clean a little bit of that off, but it's going to be etched and it's going to stink. There's a lot of smell, obviously with smoke as well. So that's a few bits there. You can see these other sort of fenders have had it. I pulled off a few bits of these. I was going to show you the interior, which obviously I forgot to record, but you can see part of that interior there. You can see it's all absolutely caked in smoke. A lot of this, like I say, is going to stain. You're not going to be able to clean that off. Got a lot of heat damage. These little tubes, they've all melted i don't know if they were that rubbery before but you can see they've all like actually melted in places so not a lot you can do with them might be able to salvage the wheels the back suspension things here are supposed to be yellow so i've rubbed a bit off just to see what they are but they're discolored as well even inside like i say the engine bay was covered with this so that was on there like that and you can see there's even smoke inside all this this is the like little pistons that work on this car and you see yeah they're all uh 
absolutely lacquered. I didn't even realise because I've never owned this set, it's got a differential. So you imagine all the components inside that absolutely caked in smoke. And no uh, no amount of cleaning will get this back to what it was like when you first bought it. So please guys just get the insurance that will cover any cost of any sort of damage like this. You can see the front is all knackered. You've got your number on the front, which should be a salvage, but still that's going to be discoloured as well. But I'd say unfortunately it is absolutely kaput. And I'll say 300 quid set, gone, just like that. I deal with this every day, so I get to see how bad soot gets and how it can get anywhere and what it does to plastics. It's not good, so it's not good for your lungs. So you can imagine what it's like sitting on plastic. You've got the heat damage as well as obviously the smoke. So yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna try and take a bit more of this off if I can just to show you what, what it's like sort of further in, so you get even further into this structure, you see it's even smoke onto that as well, so that's even further in. So the further you get into this engine bay, let's pull some of this off, doesn't really matter how it comes off because it's uh, destroyed. I'm trying to take my wheels off. Oh, I broke it, <laughs> well, it wouldn't really matter if I broke it. Let's get this off here. So as I get into this engine bait, there is a lot of uh, a lot of smoke damage in it. So I've never owned this set, but you can obviously see it's well made. But yeah, even in here, the amount of smoke stuck in there, you know, it just gets absolutely everywhere. You've got a lot of pieces that obviously you see the smoke inside here. All the gearings in there are actually all black as well. So sitting that was on a shelf. The smoke has got everywhere. These guess the colour. Meant to be dark tan. So yeah, there you go guys. So you can see how bad it is, see what's done to the table. I'm gonna have to clean that off. <laughs> Otherwise the wife will kill me. But I just wanted to bring this to your attention, guys. For the sake of a few quid a month, just get some insurance. You never know. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it didn't upset you too much. Please, 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 please make sure you get insurance sorted out because obviously this is going to cost a little bit to replace. If you haven't got the insurance, you've got to find the money for somewhere. If you've got a large collection like I've got or like a lot of you people have got, the worst happens, you ain't getting nothing. You've got to go try and resource it yourself and yes it's not not a good thing so please do that it'd be absolutely amazing i'm not trying to sell it you're in insurance but i'm just saying just look after yourself look after what you've actually bought what you own so with that note i want to say thank you for watching the video guys take care of yourselves and i'll see you again soon bye bye poor thing